What's going on, everyone? Back with another episode of Dropping Knowledge. I'm your host, Talon Sai, and again, I'm joined with Rhodes and JF. What's going on, fellas? What's up, dog? Good evening. Hi. Good evening. How you guys doing? Good. On drink number two already, so I'm feeling all right. It's just another day. I woke up breathing, so I can't complain. True. Shout out to that. Yeah. You guys are ahead of the game. I'm like not even putting a dent in my first drink yet. No. Mm. Well, I don't really have much of a dent. I can maybe have like a golf ball sized dent so you probably have like a marble sized yeah it's pretty it's pretty small all right so we're just gonna she said. we're just gonna jump right into dropping some knowledge so here's the first little bit of knowledge for you guys if you are over the age of let's say what six years old and you're going out in public you're not in your home where you live why the fuck are you wearing plaid pajama pants or pajamas <laughs> in general. So, so if we really that are their parents wearing fucking pajama pants out because that could be a thing. Just taking out, taking out for their parents. Have you ever seen an adult doing the same thing? Is this coming from that text I sent you like on Tuesday? Yeah. Week? What's up with that? Because that got <laughs> under my skin too. Rhodes texted me like a couple days ago. He's like, "Yo, put this on the list. People wearing pajamas <laughs> in public." Just Dude, don't do it. So There's so many other things that you could wear. You could wear a swimsuit. Was, you could wear literally a parka, anything. It was the day last week when it was so windy. It was like last Thursday or Friday, and it was windy as shit here. And dude apparently had nothing to do. It was like 3 o'clock. I went to Wawa, grab a drink, get in line. I'm standing there, dude in front of me, got a bag with like heat. First of all, no offense to the guy. I'm not the slimmest guy in the world. This dude weighed. It was about five foot three. About 250, 275. He's a little had a bag chode, full little of like, chody. Had a bad bag full of like three full on hoagies and shit. He's there in his slippers, his plaid fucking pajama pants, and a hoodie looking like he just rolled out of bed five minutes ago. Dude, he's, and he was going straight back to his bed and gonna lay all that shit all over and just fucking not have to move again until he, tomorrow when he went to cheats instead of Wawa or whatever. He was, was probably preparing for a solid day of some Netflix and chill. By himself. With his fine ass hoagies. Yeah. <laughs> With his watching some fucking what's the what's the what's the porn where it's Japanese cartoons watching that anime. shit. Anime. <laughs> yeah, watching that shit all fucking day like a weirdo. But dude, like have a little self respect. That's what I think. Like I was I, was, I don't need to be dressed to the nines. Like but you, like dude, pajamas? You gotta really? put an age on it. Like if you're four or five years old, like yeah, cool, dude. Wear whatever you want. You're a child, you're a toddler. But once you cross that threshold where, like, you can dress yourself, you, you got to – there's so many other things you can wear. When what I, I – th- what I th- At least some sweatpants, right? What I think is yeah. great for, like, a person whose brain operates like – that's where I'm very critical of these kind of people. We Where we live, if people don't know, it's, like, on the border. There's so like, many things it's to like judge. On, it's, like, right on the – civilization and then just – Incest. The, just trash. <laughs> like, there's no other way to say it. Like we live like on that border. We live just on the right side of that line. So thank God for us. Literally, that, you, you go ten miles up yeah. the road and it gets weird. There's a nice little area there where we cross mingle with just these uh, mutants, hills of eyes type of people, and you get to see some messed up shit that's just absolutely hilarious. And like that is an, every time we go in Walmart up there. Oh, that. First it of is all, a human shit show in that, that fucking place. That, that is next level because it's right in between <laughs> us, which is like sort of civilization, and then just yeah. the coal mine region where, no offense, not I'm sure anyone is even listening to this from that area, but, yo, you got some fucking characters up there. Holy shit. They're not listening to this. They don't have the internet up there yet, so they're <laughs> not listening to this. <laughs> Walmart's probably like my second favorite place to go people watching. Where's number one? The mall. What do you are you the dude that sits in the little circles around the pillars with the old guys that nap while their old biddy gets her laps in because the doctor Puts told on her to walk and walks around the mall. Yeah. The mall's the greatest because you do see all those old people. They have their like old school headphones on with the antennas that stick up and they they're doing their laps, around. dude, because the doctor says they need to get circulation yeah. in their legs. You got those tight ass socks to keep their fucking legs tight. Dude, these fucking I see more people in pajamas like in public than I care to admit. Like it's just like I even feel weird sometimes whenever I like sweatpants out in public. If I wear them, they gotta be like some nice fucking joggers. They gotta go with my shit. Like 
Ain't just wearing some sloppy ass bullshit out there. It's gotta there. be that Adidas jump. What? Well, it gotta be something that looks respectable at least. Like Jesus, like care a little bit about what people think of you. Like first impression says a lot. When so, I think of people like that, like when I see that in public, I automatically think you're. First of all, you're dressed like Jesse Pinkman from Breaking Bad, like the early seasons. Science bitch. Where, yeah, yeah. Bitch. <laughs> science, science bitch. bitch. You're standing in line at Turkey Hill with fucking plaid pajamas on, slippers, a big oversized hoodie, and you're getting a fucking gallon of Lipton tea and a carton of Marlboro Reds. <laughs> Not the leader, of, the leader of brisk, dog. A oh, leader of brisk. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, brisk. Brisk, like Marlboro us. menthols, like and us a and wife be- to Turkey Hill to get some heaters. <laughs> like all we need is fucking leader of brisk, and a, someone else have a leader of mountain. Be fucking bitten right in. And then they're walking. They're walking there. They did, or maybe they rode a bike. I guess if they. If they were going and the, real far, and those, they probably rode the Barda. You know, it's the weird thing. Like those people are always walking, and the one accessory that they all have in common, they all have a backpack. What are you carrying in your backpack on your walk to Turkey Hill? The crystal you dog. Need her, you need a place to keep it. I guess, it. dog. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Or if they're you're getting like, a lot of cartons of cigarettes. On. Yeah, maybe, maybe they're buying all the fucking. What's like the off-brand cigarette? Newports. Like, no, no, those are expensive. I'm talking like the fucking. I don't even know. I don't know. Like Paul malls, um, Paul malls, maybe. There, there's no like the One. weirdest cigarette you've ever seen. Like, I get, I don't smoke cigs, but I get hammered and ask for them. There's like a threshold where, like, if a dude whips out like a certain pack of cigs, like, yeah, you can have one. Like, I'm good on that. I, I don't need one. I don't need one. I'm blacked out, drunk, and I want a cigarette. My fourth one in the last five years, well, the last year, but that's a lie. It needs to be. You smoked more in four minutes before I've seen it. But when you see people like that, doesn't it make you feel better about yourself. So it's good, good morale boost. Yeah, I guess so. Absolutely, but it's also like, do I set the bar that low for myself that, <laughs> that guy makes you feel good? Like, <laughs> it's a pretty low bar to jump. You know, it's like a a pebble on the on the road I've walked over. Like, I don't know. Dude, yeah, it it's sad. I feel like I just wonder like what goes through your head when you leave the house. Like before I leave, I gotta like look in the mirror and be like, I don't look off putting or I don't look like a piece of trash. Like I gotta at least feel some type of way about how I look before I leave. That Maybe thought goes too- through my mind literally every single day. Like I'll see someone out in public, especially here in South Beach, and I'll just like you look at someone and you go, Did you did you even look? Like you have no mirrors in your house. You didn't even like look down and be like Oh, I look like a fucking circus clown. Maybe I should change I look, before I go in public. Maybe I'm vain. I don't know. But like, I look in like the mirror. I look in windows. I look at my reflection everywhere I can fucking see it. Because I don't want to look like a fucking weirdo. Like, I know I'm not like the most hip, good looking person in the world, but I also want to present the best version of myself as much as I can. Rhodes out here living his best no, fucking life. I'm just life. saying, like, you know what I mean? Like, people, like, re- like you said, like, you didn't gl- you didn't catch your reflection in the microwave and really like reevaluate <laughs> like hmm, when you're maybe, cooking up that breakfast hot pocket. Yeah, maybe the fucking SpongeBob pajama pants with my Pokemon hoodie as a 35 year old maybe it's not the best look for me when I go outside. I mean, those, I don't know. Those people, they just they're living, man. They don't care. I guess. I don't know. I, I don't understand. And those that. dudes are out there. Those dudes are out there. They're out there banging fucking hot chicks. Yeah. Name one. <laughs> the toothless meth Name addict one. from down the street. <laughs> they are getting Whatever, some bro. fucking gummies, bro. Dude, congrats. There you go. So I'm saying your your man might be some badass and wear his fucking SpongeBob pajamas, but does he have a robust, aggressive 401k? <laughs> I don't does know. He, I if his 401, it. yeah, yo, give us your pitch real quick. I haven't heard it in a while. This, My this elevator is, this pitch? Is, yeah. Rhodes' elevator right. pitch when he's in the elevator with a hot chick. If I was a little more drunk, I would definitely be nailing it. But the, the gist of it is this, that I got – I work. I teach doctors. I got nice health benefits, vision, dental, life insurance, all that. And I got a strong 401K because guess what, baby girl? I'm planning for our future together. <laughs> We're going to have a strong – residual when it comes to our retirement we're gonna get that nice little condo down in myrtle beach and we're gonna ball out for the guy <laughs> yeah so any single ladies out there hit him up amr roads 27 on instagram sliding them i DMs. try it 
I try. I try to throw that out there as much as I can, and they just laugh and walk away. What? What's what's laugh worthy about that? I'm. It only takes because... one. <laughs> I don't it know. only takes one to say yes. Yeah, sure, but nah. You miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take, Wayne Gretzky. Dude, I'm. I, yeah, I'm Michael glad Scott. you guys have been rolling the uh, friends the friends feed where it shows what you've been saying, because I've been throwing some sups out there <laughs> and slinging on fucking left. You Maybe get a, we have. We I'm just like, got on the gram you've been throwing them, or what? I'm like Oprah at fucking Christmas. I'm you pulling get it up right now. I'm going to see what... You get it. I'm throwing them. Up. I'm going to see the last sups you threw out. Slinging them. Now I'm, inter- now I'm interested. How do I find that? I don't know, dog. You got to figure it out. You're the one always creeping on there. It's on like the Let's explore see. feed or something. JF's yeah, trying to pull it up right here now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I just threw it out there not that long ago. So you got to find it. Well, I don't see it registered yet. Good. I'm maybe about to. Maybe it's already too far down. You got too much clout. You got too much internet clout and you got too many followers. I just get lost in the shuffle. Get lost in nope. the feed. You yeah. guys want to You want to move on here, to bro. the next thing on the list that we should drop some knowledge on? I um, I, I do, but before, yeah. before we go to... I have a confession I need to make to Rhodes, and it's oh, and and I've been thinking about it all day if I was gonna make a confession, because I don't know how to put it. Oh, I don't want to make this fucking confession to him because once I do, he's gonna be the biggest fucking thorn in my side, and it's like well, I'm now, dreading now I'm saying intrigued. I'm, I'm dreading say and, and Tisa, you weren't there. You're like really you up. weren't there, but I'm dreading saying this more to you than I would be confessing something to taylor Whoa. that where like what? she's gonna rag on me for because this you're a dick that's why so you remember on saturday when i couldn't find my driver's license yeah and jf only had to drink water at the bar <laughs> and you said so you're sure you checked everywhere in your car then what'd you say did you check your glove box and what did i say i've never been in my glove box in my new car i've only had my car for a month I, I know i haven't put anything in the glove box so i left work early to get a drink and with somebody ID. and i was going into the bar where we were gonna get drinks and i was like you know what they never carved me here but i'm just gonna look anyways in my fucking glove box because Rhodes fucking said it and i opened my glove box and it's not sitting there but my where i keep my insurance and my registration and i'm like I'm just going to look in here. I don't know why it would be in here, but I'm going to look in here. It was slid right in the fucking pocket, and I was so mad. I'm like, I got to tell Rhodes that it was in there after I swore up and down it was not in the fucking glove box. (laughs) So, touche to you, sir. You want to say you're sorry? I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, I told him right away. The very first thing I told him, we're sitting at the bar. I'm like, did you check your glove box? And he goes on this big, he goes on a a meet. I, the, I wouldn't even fucking look in there. I didn't even go in my fucking glove box. Why the hell am my ID being there? I wasn't even <laughs> I there, know. and I can see and hear that conversation unfold. Like, I don't know. And yeah, while he's sitting down there sipping on his fucking water, sipping on his water out of a red plastic Coke cup, and asked if, and then asked if they have Mountain Dew. No. Wow. Are Coke you the products. guy? Were you wearing pajamas, smoking Marlboros, or but what? Just saying, but no, just saying, like, you're drinking out of the Coke plastic cup, which is the way to signify what soft drink company you go through, either Pepsi or Coke, and then you ask, do you have Mountain Dew? Like, oh, I didn't even put those two together. <laughs> oh, man. I'm like, no, they got Sprite and Mr. Pibb. I didn't Fuck. read the cup. Why were you reading the cup? Because it was a bright fucking cup. It's a Coca-Cola cup. <laughs> Anyways, I found my driver's well, license. Well, good. I'm going to ask you where – to check your glove box anytime you say you can't find it. Dude, as soon as I open it, I, I fucking croak. As soon as I open it, I just like my eyes dropped and like a part of me dropped. I'm like, fuck, I gotta tell Rhodes he was right. And I didn't I never want to tell Rhodes he's right. Most, this is the most smug I've ever felt <laughs> yeah. right now. I just feel so good right now. So, so yeah. That nice. was the highlight of my day. I, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you know, you know though. So I was angry at the fact that I had to confess that to you, but I also was happy that I didn't have to go to the DMV on Friday or Saturday morning to get an ID because I'm going to Philly. Yo, really fuck like the DMV. DMV. In <laughs> any really city, like any state, fuck them all. But I'm gonna, I, I can't talk about because I'll come off as the biggest piece of shit in the world, even though I already kind of am. <laughs> you got that right. We, we, can't, we can't talk about that. I'll, I know. We can't go down that road. All we're, right. <laughs> let's go to the next bullet point. We're about to go down a weird road because after oh, – episode one aired we got a topic suggestion from someone on patreon 
just a simple simple topic. I don't know how it's going to go, but they wanted us to talk about manscaping. What about it? I you either do it or you don't do it. You either do it like, or you don't. We don't get creative. What? We don't like drawing fucking landing strips and shit. I don't know, man. One Rose might, shoot... reminds me of like a lightning bolt type of guy. You never yeah. fucking know. Dude. I get a little lightning flash. bolt there and then sprinkle a little glitter. Maybe a little, maybe a little cologne down there. Too. A little glitter. Oh, wasn't that a thing for a while? V- vajazzling or some <laughs> bullshit like that? It was like what? bedazzling your hoo ha. Yeah, maybe. they would like put fucking sequins and shit all around their area. Their labia menorah and majora. Yeah, I was. I didn't want to be vulgar for some reason. I must not be drinking. <laughs> that's enough. not vulgar. That's, that's scientific. That's the political. That's scientific. I was. I wasn't gonna say your fucking labia. I didn't but... say. Did she bedazzle her snatch? I said <laughs> labia majora. That's scientific, dog. It's oh. science, bitch. I don't science, know, bitch. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, like. There's only well, a couple things you can do. You can go full bald eagle and just be like no. a newborn infant, or you can have like no. a little bush. I did that in college a couple times. Just you, got, you gotta go. Get super itchy. You gotta go to. You gotta go to the five o'clock shadow. <laughs> 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 on the root, you got, you got a five o'clock shadow on your dusty root. On the root. I agree. I agree. The root is the most important part. Other than that, it can just be a mess. It could be like a one of those fucking ball hedges that they shave hedges into balls. You ever see those? Yeah. We have yeah. one in my backyard, I, actually. I just think about it like this sometimes. Like, girls go through a lot of effort to, like, keep that looking all right. So the least I could do is at least, like, do some sort of maintenance. By no means am I, like, going to the barber and get, yo, can I get a high fade on that? <laughs> like, <laughs> just a little, like, keep it you know somewhat somewhat looks like i've actually looked at it one time you know what i mean like, can you so... give me a hard part <laughs> can you, can you hit me hard with a hard part, part on my, my on my d piece or what so i'm gonna start Maybe at like a, on both sides with i'm it? gonna start at a zero and then fade up into a one one and a half as yeah, you get yeah. up and then and can you can you blend it i don't like it like where it's just like the, just go straight from one into a zero like i need it i need it blended there. and then they fucking straight razor around that shit can you imagine give that give me a, you, you imagine straight razoring no. your dude, fucking pubes? The hot dude. foam though would no. be dope. The you know hot foam like the would most... be, but oh man! Like I had this conversation with a girl not that long ago, where they were talking about how like how terrible it is, like shaving down there for them. I was like, "Have you ever tried to shave a ball sack? Because that is a fucking that is one of the most terrifying things you can ever do in your life. It's to like, shave your balls. I can't I've even cut my ball sack explain before. that. You've cut it. Like I've cut it. Like open hundred percent. No, not like where my fucking testicle is about to fall out. <laughs> where, and then all your pee was dripping out, because that's where your pee's held. Yeah, your, your pee's balls. held in your nutsack, you're right. Yeah. The more yeah, you know, it's... dropping knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, isn't that like scary, like shaving your balls? Like, Well, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to fucking go five o'clock shadow on your root and then just have like... Have like stringy things. I'm not saying that you don't. I'm just saying that it's scary every time because it's just fucking. It is, dude. Just. Uh, I wonder. Like, I wonder just, if there's like a like it's like gross. Like it's just like all fucking like loose and like you gotta like pull it fucking tight like the fucking skin on a raw chicken breast. <laughs> you gotta pull like it, uh, uh, it's terrible. I wonder if there's like a not a doctor kind of recommended way, but like a like a professional bikini waxer recommended way to get rid of hair on a nut sack there's got to be something we need to talk to somebody who's like a esthetician or like a beautician or whatever they're called yeah any any beauticians out there listening let us know the proper Slide way the to DMs. shave a scrotum or wax Slide it. in the dms for ball shaving etiquette could you imagine getting fucking wa- your balls waxed no oh no. my no. god dude i couldn't imagine getting anything waxed let alone my fucking ball sack my my taint you could wax my taint for me dude i feel like that would be rough <laughs> like that would be oh, bad. That would be the worst but i feel like i would bless. scream god bless the person i'd ever stare me right in the fucking brown eyes <laughs> that's disgusting like no thanks well you don't let your you don't let your back page and bumble tinder girls nope. do that no no you don't you'll get a little rj little, little rj uh, <laughs> i don't i would not want anyone ever touching anything in and around my butthole no yo thing. that'd be a good rap name little rj <laughs> <laughs> little RJ, <laughs> the next up and coming SoundCloud rapper, little RJ. 
Uh, I know, like, there's been some vile, vile things that have come out of there. Bro, like, there have been vile things that have come out of booty holes you've looked before. That's fine. Good for them. <laughs> I don't care. So the fact that now this is coming up. Yeah. So while I'm standing in line at Chipotle tonight. Chipotle, you didn't bring me any? I didn't. Because I'm mad at you. For what? For being right. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm standing in line at Chipotle tonight, and there was like this, you know, semi-attractive girl there. And do you guys ever see a, an attractive girl uh, at a restaurant getting something that you've had before, and you just have exploded out the rear end? Yeah. And they're getting it, and th that girl is instantly gone from attractive to. I know what's about no. Uh, <laughs> that's <laughs> like any time anyone orders Chipotle, you just look around yeah, the restaurant. Like, exactly. You're like, exactly. I'm like, yeah. All I right, know. I know what's about to happen to you. So I don't know if I'm done. The bowels deal, but like, Chipotle doesn't give me like any sort of problems. It don't know? do that to me either. I eat it once a week, and I I have no problems anymore. I'd I'd say I eat it like one and a half times a week. I might have had it like three. JF and I have a count. Well, I have a counter on my phone of how many times I've eaten it this year. I don't have a counter, but if there's how many weeks so far? So probably like nine or ten weeks. Yeah, I probably have had like I probably had it like fifteen times. I'd say. Yeah, we've we've been killing it. I mean, last year JF yeah. and I did it like I don't know. It was January. We're like, let's just eat it every every week for every the entire week. year, and we did pretty much. I've been I've been over once a week for so sure. We we were definitely over fifty two times each last year. I, I, I might be at 52 now, nine weeks in. I don't fucking know. I'm no going, way. Here. I'm an overachiever, so that's just really where I'm going. Is that going to be the next sponsor? Can we get Chipotle to sponsor this? Yo, piece? I wish. Yeah. Oh, speaking of that, do we have any ad reads for today? Nah, I told you I wanted to come up with a good one, but I didn't have any for last Damn. week after Brandon. We, we got to come up with dealer. ad reads. It's still it's still promo code talent Sci for ten bucks off your first bag. But. I wonder if anyone used that promo code. I gotta check the analytics yeah. on it. Yeah. Come on, guys. You gotta you gotta buy that shake if you're gonna support dropping knowledge. I need that. <laughs> need hell? that ad money. <laughs> this shit ain't shit, free. Dog. If you're not sharing this with your friends and it doesn't grow, we'll fucking stop doing it. We will just yeah, stop. Yeah, that's fine. We'll have these we'll conversations. We'll just get on Discord and talk to each other. Yeah, we'll do this regardless. So if you want it to be recorded, you got to get out there and buy that shake <laughs> from Brandon. Stop recording. Oh, my gosh. No, I just stopped the podcast right now. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks for listening. Talk to you never. So, so you guys buy fucking eight more bags from Brandon. We're <laughs> we need to eat. We got to keep the lights on, <laughs> roof over our heads. It's hard out in these streets. You feel me? Buy some more mid. Buy more mid. Brandon's the guy at fucking Wawa in his plaid fucking job. Yeah. <laughs> He's the one wearing Brandon. slippers in public. <laughs> fucking Brandon. Spending. That's what's in his backpack. The shake. He's giving out free his first mid bag. Money. Spending his mid money on Jesus. three fucking hoagies and your buffalo chicken fucking cardboard <laughs> box nugs. Dude, they're good. Yeah, they're disgusting. Those are good. You could just like you, you could probably you, well that's thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you could probably fit a lot of those nugs in your backpack, Brandon. Yeah, Brandon, you could 20 30 boxes of nugs in there yeah brandon After, even more if you just dump them right in the bag don't even worry dump about the cardboard them. box brandon dump if you're them. listening you still owe us a payment from last week i know you've been kind of flaky but we got <laughs> eyes shaky, everywhere flaky. You know, we know you say you're good for it but you know Dude, i haven't told the chick to dump them in a minute since you just said dump them. i don't think i've told a chick to dump them since i was in college i used to yell dump them at the bar sometimes <laughs> yeah you dump did. them up dump, dump them up, up. <laughs> I feel yeah, like I heard that them. so much, <laughs> <laughs> so much in the day. Dump we haven't had a good, we haven't had a good bar night in a while. Well, this we Saturday didn't... we could if JF wasn't going to fucking Philly. Where are you going? Oh, you I'm didn't even tell him. To what? I'm going to a concert. Excision. Yeah. That's not a concert. I don't know what it is. I'm going. Uh... Festival. I ain't fucking concert. <laughs> well, oh, dude. Dude, you don't even know what it's like, bro. Like, Excision changed my life. Like, I went there. No, those are Bass Nectar fans, there bro. There were people wearing yeah. glow sticks. Those are the wooks going to Bass Nectar. There were people wearing glow stick necklaces, man. And they were wearing, like, really bright colors and weird outfits and stuff. Nobody and, like, wears that Excision. changed my life, bro. If they you don't know black. what we're talking about, by the way, Excision <laughs> is, like, a dubstep DJ. And the shows are crazy. They bring out, like, the fucking... What do you even call those people? Like, if you're not in the scene, what what do you think people would call Dude, like Wooks from I the like, outside? I like would 
drugged they, out they're weirdos. Li- they're like the equivalent <laughs> of like what like he- like people that go to see like heavy metal concerts, but you in do. the electric like you in the electric you? genre. Oh, genre. for sure, Are you a yeah, heavy yeah. Metal guy? I I am personally. I listen to metal pretty much every day. <laughs> oh yeah, bro. No, it's. Yeah. I'm not like that. I'm I not that fucking. Yeah, bro. Dude, but... Ever in one metal song. Who's your favorite metal band? Pantera. <laughs> I like Pantera, but I'm talking like new stuff, newer. Uh, Parkway like, Drive, probably. Uh, I don't know yeah. who that is. By the way, I haven't watched that music video in a long time. Is that Wreckage? Yo, where they're fucking surfing in at, Australia? Oh, Karma. At ex- That's a at good excision, video. At Excision, do chicks dump them? Uh, maybe. Send me some private Instagram. The one hundred percent, one hundred and sixty percent. Everyone is dumping okay. them. So, so JF just have so, little smiley well, face on, stickers on. on their fucking nipples and co- barely yeah, well, covering their areolas. Yeah. Ooh, areola. At excision yes. concerts, they sometimes skip the smiley face stickers on their nipples, and they just have put them on their hoo-hops. black electrical tape. Yeah. On their tits. Um, yeah. Dude, uh, fucking send them. Just I want. I I'm want still, one I'm still Instagram gonna send it. story. <laughs> Yelling, don't boom. <laughs> I will do it. Sending me a video of the chick with I X's will. on her on her areolas is talent. If anybody to listens me. to this and they want to see X's on boobies, follow, follow me, me on Instagram. J A Y. I will run around. Three F. I will run around the Fillmore and just look for the girls with pasties. Don't Take take a picture with them and put it on your story. Shove my phone in their faces. Have have Taylor take boomerangs of you <laughs> motorboats. <laughs> Taylor, I gotta do it for the podcast. Dude, why has nobody ever posted a boomerang of them motorboat and titties? I think that'd be the best boomerang in the history of boomerang. You can be the shit. first. If you would have started that Instagram that you talked about last week, then maybe that could be any, like one of your first posts. Any single ladies out there listening to this, you want me to be to you want to be a part of the first ever motorboat? boomerang slide in those dms i'll come meet you wherever you're at he's got a strong 401 strong 401k (laughs) so boomerang them all the time we'll get instagram famous and then i'll throw dollar bills all over you and we'll fucking just post motorboating (laughs) motorboating boomerangs till till forever speaking about instagram what do you guys think about the post uh last last week's episode when that went up on the dropping knowledge I, pod I, on Instagram, might I giggled shit myself. I giggled. That's pretty close to what the videos all looked like. That's <laughs> that's exactly. That's like a screen grab from one of those videos. This is definitely from a porn. Except that is definitely that's from, from a, a porn. porn. It yeah, has that's to. A, a fucking rusty nail, and her name is uh, Lucy Tits McGee. Yeah, Tits McGee. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy Goosey. Lucy Goosey Tits McGee. <laughs> And Something like that. The only that. problem is that there's not a hole in the bottom of the pizza. That's the only problem. I was I, I googled know. to get that image while I was in public, to say the least, and there was some bad shit on my phone. I'm like hiding my phone down by my side. I'm like, oh man, I hope no one sees what me. What exactly to find did it. you search in Google? To I find searched. It. I searched big uh, sausage pizza. No, I did not. <laughs> I just typed in like pizza guy. I don't know porno. exactly what you searched. I think uh, I'm gonna look. I can see my search history. I think it was just pizza guy, <clears throat> pizza guy porno. Pizza, I'm searching it now. Pizza guy. This is bad. Porn. Bad radio. This is not. No, this, this is, is good. good. Yeah, Google images pizza guy porn, <laughs> and then that's the stuff that came up until I found the right one. Oh my god! Don't 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 Google that, dude. What the? Fuck? <laughs> oh, there's, <laughs> that, <laughs> there's some bad ones on there. I, I'm it's done not delivery. Now. It's a porno. That's the That's first Google one. search on my new phone that I literally just got Gross. an hour ago. Great. Oh, that, that, no. that, that picture's in Pizza Guy porno. There, I don't even want to know. One. There's the third one that Talon sent. Did somebody order a big sausage pizza? There's the one Talon sent. I, I'm not even looking. I already closed it. <laughs> I'm not looking. Yeah, it's girls, bro. I'm not, not because you said that. It makes me think or know that it's not. So I'm <laughs> not weird. fucking looking. Yeah, that's gross. Rhodes, you're the one that said you know all about the oh, pizza right guy. Here. There, there's a good picture. Big sausage pizza. <laughs> I gotta send this to town. This is this is the one you should post on Instagram. I can oh, wait, post here's another, another one. one. I'll post another one on Friday when it yeah, goes. Yeah, there you go. Yes, dude. 
If you don't know, there's actual <laughs> images of chicks jerking dicks through. <laughs> through Dude, pizza. I never. I knew. can't post that on Instagram. Did you just see that? Yeah, you can just make it like a just I'll put an Photoshop emoji it. over it. <laughs> yeah, Photoshop. Dude, it. I can't believe like you could like Google Images allows this stuff to like pop up on Google. Dude, you wonder why? Oh, you really had to send that to the group, dude. Oh, dude, my I re- God. I remember trying to watch porno through the scramble screen, dog, and catching a oh, titty spice, every five minutes. Spice, dog. <laughs> when, when were you watching porn in the fucking 70s? Bro, when I was like nine years yeah, old. Dude, I was jerking uh, on VHS that you found in your grade, dad's dog. room in the closet? No. no, dude. On the TV, on the, on the, whatever the scandalous channels were. If you didn't pay for them, they were just snowy screens but you'd catch a titty every five I minutes like, <laughs> i didn't like, know that bro I, it was 1999 yeah, like the yeah. the internet wasn't the internet it was like channel 72 yeah and you'd flip by and it'd just be static you just it would sound like people were moving really heavy furniture like oh yeah <laughs> put it right there oh yeah. yeah a little to the left put it on the wall yeah put it on the wall and and yeah. every once in a while dude it would just get clear enough where you yeah. you caught a titty Whoa. or maybe a random pee yeah. you know you know what this reminds me of this blog? story mm. you guys remember back in the day i know i know roads went for sure i don't know about you jf i think you went we went on high school trips weekend trips when we were all in the ski club and we would go up to yeah. Killington, Killington, Vermont on the weekends. And that was like when I was really into skiing, like when I first started getting into it. And in the hotel yeah. rooms, because you're up in fucking Vermont, almost near Canada, they just had porn on the TVs in the hotel room. Yeah. All the time, yeah. though. You didn't have to pay for it. So every like high school kid's room that you walked into, they're just blaring porn and like doing shit that we're <laughs> really not supposed to be doing on no, school trips. No, we did trips. a lot of really bad stuff on that trip. I don't know how that trip didn't get canceled. Dude, the first time it, I it went. did. No, they still go. Oh, the God. The f- the first ski ski, uh, ski trip I went on, I was a freshman, and I forget whose room I was staying in, but it had to do with your cousin Cole and Nico was there, and I'm sure you were fucking You're there. Name Pond. dropping hard, oh, dude. Roast, dude, whatever. Not, it's not like they're gonna listen to this. Maybe Cole, but no, so but much. last names. <laughs> I'm so much trouble. But anyways. So I remember this one. There, there was, there was somebody's room. There was two rooms, and they had the door that was connected, and we were just boozing. Yeah. And yeah. came in and freaked out. And, I mean, we never like ended up gotten. We didn't get in trouble back at school, but I was so mad. And I just, I we, were, I was in ninth grade, like just getting boozed up. You guys are all in like eleventh grade, tenth grade, whatever it was. Eleventh. I'm like roasting bones. Well, oh, dude, that was that ski trip was the first time I roasted a bone in a gondola. That ski trip was brought to you by Brandon, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Brandon. <laughs> but yeah, dude, that thing was fucking. The thing is, when you say Brandon, I think of someone very specific in our school who was that Brandon. He was that guy. You, I know you're thinking of the same person too. I think I'm thinking of the same person. Can you bleep the name out when I say it? Sure. No, I was actually thinking. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, you yeah. just gotta throw it on the floor. Yeah. At their house. <laughs> Let's get off this shit. subject. I don't want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but whenever you say that, I'm like, yeah, the yep, that's who it is. Yep. Their whole floors are just filled with the with contents the of the Dutch master. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a Dutch master factory. Yup. Gross. Oh, fuck. All right. <laughs> We're all over the place again, and I love it. That's like fine. That's what, that's what makes us good. The farther off topic we get, the better. We could keep going oh, through the shit. list, or we could just keep talking about this dumb shit, too. Now, what else What else can we talk about? We don't need to go through the list. What's something? Dude, we got to talk about driving. Yeah, yeah it's about driving. So we were getting really. So me and JF went to the went out this weekend. He obviously lost his ID. That's what I got my ID. Yeah, it was in his glove his box. ID. Couldn't FYI. find it. It was in his glove box. Like it wouldn't be in my fucking glove okay, box. Like okay, okay. One douche. second here. All right. So I had a fucking water at Brewers. So fuck Brewers. But then we went to Chatty Monks, and I was drinking beer. So and you could have gotten a drink at the at the whiskey bar too. By the way, I had a very good cocktail called the Dirk Diggler. Those of you that watch uh, Boogie Nights, Dirk Diggler. Dude, d- 
dude was in the movie, one of the characters. No anyway, the drink was really good. But so anyway, we're sitting at this whiskey bar, right? And all the, the tables, still sitting there. all the tables are full. So we had to sit at this little like bench bar thing along the front windows, and it's all windows looking through the frosted looking glass. Through. So literally right in front of this bar. There's what a, probably a parking spot, and you know how Penn Avenue is. There's a parking spot as big as two cars for this person to parallel park in. Who by, who is also driving like it? It literally was a brand new Infinity because it still had the temporary yeah. registration in the window. We so look, backup camera. We look through the passenger side window. We see the backup camera, the full on <laughs> fucking. They got the 10 inch LCD monitor right there on the fucking console. Parallel park. They must have backed up and gone forward. I can I'm not exaggerating. Four times they backed up, four times they went forward and tried to correct it, and it was still the most fucked up parallel park job you would ever and see he in your life. Was still two and a half feet from the curb. Yeah. <laughs> it was the most insane shit, and I lost my mind. Just like, well, I'm like, this fucking guy can't parallel park in a fucking brand new car with the backup camera. Dude was getting two feet from the car behind him yep. and acting like he was about to hit it and pull forward. And I just like that kind of shit drives me fucking bonkers. Like, I don't have a backup camera. I could have parallel parked that fucking shit way better than that guy, especially considering the amount of too. turns he made. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it you're, was you're in a city, you probably live close. So, that, like, if you're where. If you're where we are from, like, I can understand that you don't know how to parallel park that well. You obviously got to fucking do it on the test, but there's so many, yeah. there's so many people who cannot, for the well, like, life of them, parallel park. It makes no fucking especially sense. Especially with the fucking backup camera. I should have been able to take a video of that, take a picture of their license plate, send it off send to, it the to the DMV. The and then they both- <laughs> Use a 911 call? Fucking backup camera. Yeah, excuse me, number one, come <laughs> cut this license in half because this person's a fucking idiot. <laughs> like that kind of shit drives me absolutely insane. And then he, and then the whole time we were there, they just sat in the car. They never actually got out of it. So we're like, this fucking guy knows we were watching, yeah. and he's too embarrassed to get out because he knows he sucks. They saw <laughs> us pointing and laughing through the frosted <laughs> windows of this place, and are just not getting out. And then some dude right in front of him leaves, so they pull forward like five <laughs> feet to get into that spot, and they're still crooked as shit. Like, fucking we, asshole. We could literally bitch about driving in every episode, so I'm just going to get it all out right now and bring up another thing. When you're merging onto a highway or any kind of road where it's a merge lane and people... Let's not hit the brakes. People look over their left shoulder... All right, so you're driving. You're going to merge onto a road. You look over your left shoulder to see if there are cars coming. But first, look the fuck in front of you and see how far you can drive to get up to speed with traffic. That is the point of a merge lane. I see so many people pulling right onto 61 at your favorite place, Rudders, where it's like a fucking 200-yard stretch for you to get up to speed, which is only like 45 to 50 miles an hour. And they fucking stop. Come to a complete stop. <laughs> it's so annoying. I like. I can fucking I scream it. right now. So I floor annoying. it every time I have to merge. I floor it and get up to speed and get the fuck in. The other but day, dude, I fucking passed someone. He was at a complete stop, and there's like a merge lane and then a turning lane, and I just went right around him. I'm like, up, oh, see ya. You're fucking at a you dead know when, stop. You, you know when you're getting off six? When you're getting off two twenty two to get on. Live. There was a person going so slow on the like the clover leaf ramp. I just passed him on the shoulder because it goes to two lanes. I just cut in on the shoulder, went around him. Oh, that's a brat five miles an hour. Sure. That's okay. a brat. So, so, so now I have a little interjection, Rhodes. What you just did was highly illegal, and and you put lives in danger. And my no, ass is just parking no. on the yellow fucking curb at Chipotle, stationary, not putting anybody's life in danger. Uh, but I'm the bad fucking guy. But you, I'm the bad fucking that guy. All, that, Shut up. No, that no says, rebuttal. It has nothing to do with legality. Or what yeah. it says to me when people park there is, I'm too good to have to drive around and look for a parking spot. So then yes. what is you flying around somebody you fly around, said? Like, this person is going five miles an hour and I'm going around you. Parking there is just, I'm an asshole. You know I what? think I'm better than everybody <laughs> you, else going to get their you fucking You are just out, trying to so fucking justify there. your reckless maneuvers out there on the open road 
on the I, highway. I agree hell, with Rhodes on just, this one. That's fucking lazy. Well, you you can't park you uh, fifty, not even fifty feet away, in, in an actual you can't parking park spot. The street. We're getting really narrow here. This is only for people <laughs> who live in, in Berks County now. Yeah. But all right. <laughs> what really makes me mad, and you don't have to deal with it. So, when people don't clean their cars off when it snows. And not necessarily day of. I get it. Like when it's snowing, you might not want to do it. But like it snows on a Monday and it's Thursday and you're driving down the highway and you still. With a foot on top of your car. (laughs) Like, A, what kind of life are you? I want your life because apparently for four days you didn't have to do a goddamn thing. So that must be nice. And then B, in in those what, 96 hours you had to just hang out, you couldn't find the time to fucking scrape your goddamn car off. So you're driving down the interstate, blowing sheets of snow back at me, risking my goddamn life. Oh, don't talk about life. So you're swerving around people on the shoulder and pass them, okay? But here we go. Full circle now. It goes to two lanes. It's going to turn into uh, two lanes. It's anyway. going to two yeah. lanes. But you know what I'm saying? That's like when tractor trailers have those sheets of ice fly off the top. I'm chucking fucking Gatorade <laughs> bottles and water bottles out the window. Out. Well, why don't like, you save you your quarters know? and stop bitching about getting changed and use that as a weapon? Yeah, or or you gotta get spark plugs, throw it at their windshields. True. Speaking of snow, aren't you guys getting fucking pounded tonight? Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm getting maybe. Yeah, maybe if JF. (laughs) That sounded that sounded real gay. Aren't you guys getting a lot of snow tonight? Is a better way to put it. If you're gonna agree. Yeah. So I told you ahead of time I wanted to bitch about this. So. What I find hilarious about any time it snows, anyone that lives in the northern half of the U.S. where it snows, and people always want to run to the fucking grocery store. I, I went to the grocery store. I had things to get anyway. Hypocrite. But just like there's so many people there. But what Hypocrite. I find hilarious about it, the two things that people are, the whole thing like that people always say you have to buy when you go to the grocery store. when the, Bread and milk. The power might go out. Bread and milk. And then two maybe eggs too but bread and milk the two most perishable things you can ever <laughs> buy at the fucking grocery store bread That's very true i never thought about that and milk you buy this stuff because you think power might go out so at least you have something well guess what well milk is gonna fucking spoil when it's when the power's out and the fridge ain't work is it is it do they sell it as the power's going out or are they selling it as it's going to be too nasty out for you to drive anywhere so your power so what you can't survive over 24 hours without a gallon of fucking milk maybe like not. how often are you drinking some whole vitamin d <laughs> fucking milk a lot yeah, dude i drink big yeah, glasses okay. of milk i fucking love milk okay. i do that's gross but i like, can't do that jf had a good point when i was bitching about this earlier when he first came over he's like maybe it's just like a conspiracy like half the time it doesn't actually snow and they say it's gonna snow a lot that maybe just it's because giants yeah. calling 69 news saying yo can you throw something out there for us we we got shit that's about yeah. to spoil we in the back way, we, we need to get it out this last go round, we bought way too much it's about the fucking expiration date that's a legit news station, by the way. There's a 69 news, local news around in us. The store <laughs> I didn't even think milk. about that. Like, people in this are probably going to 69 news. Ha, 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 ha. You know but that's real. Is? That's real. They go, in, they go tune into 69 news. Nice. That's all they say. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, I never really yeah. thought about that until now. Like, that's, that's pretty fucking funny. I've never seen another 69 news. Yeah, 69. Nice. Nice. Yeah, dude, like people act like it's like they don't have any food. Like you don't like if like you Maybe don't have don't. we live in America. You have piles of food at your house. But I need a loaf of bread and a fucking gallon of milk to get me through the next eight hours where I So what would you change it to? Get off. bottled water and fucking chef boy RD? And a can and a can of baked beans. Something ain't gonna go fucking bad <laughs> sitting in the pantry eating spaghettios and drinking like they make it seem like it's a fucking zombie apocalypse like it's gonna snow guess what in america everyone probably lives within walking distance of somewhere to get food but you ain't gonna starve but the one time what was it two years ago we got snowed in at your house with fucking 13 of our friends or some shit well guess who was the one who who i called that from the beginning we have nowhere near we enough all food. Did. There was we like six did. or eight dudes, and I was like, we bought one DiGiorno and like a bag of fucking Fritos. Like, that ain't going to last us more than fucking okay. two hours. In but you know defense, what we though, had in excess? Booze. Zero. Oh, Moonshine. Yeah, or no, fucking Everclear. Everclear. Yeah, Everclear. Sick. Yeah, yeah, we were fucked up that night. Now, 
in our defense, though, I don't think any of us guys thought it was going to snow 30 fucking inches. Even if it did, the fact that we <laughs> got, oh, we're going to, we'll be here all weekend. Let's go shopping. Yeah, I mean, but we didn't really. Week, but it We'll be here all weekend. Let's go grocery shopping. We walked out with one grocery bag full of shit for six full-grown humans. Dude, it was like a gonna le- do it. It was eleven Ain't o'clock at night, and it didn't. It wasn't snowing yet, so we were like, we're not. We didn't really think we were gonna be I snowed did. in all week. I, I did. didn't. I didn't. I thought we were going home the next day. We That's didn't. like JF thinks I didn't snow, and I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. Like, dude, we're getting a foot of snow. Like, it's Bro. gonna happen. Okay, so they said they said that before we haven't gotten snow, so and I don't believe it you know until a snow cane is on the ground. The other part too that was bad about that whole thing, and why we ran out of shit so fast, that was at peak like peak. Um, what's the right way to say this? Like the girls not trusting their their mans, rightfully so, because the whole crew of girls with the oh. guys. All- sit there because they thought we were just gonna what hire some hookers during the blizzard to come yeah to come over, fucking give us lappies or something we, like. we we went out to the bar and they were supposed to be out doing their thing and then they decided to drive here yeah. when it when it was snowing so and that our, out yeah, so then our one DiGiorno really didn't last the fucking week when i hear these conversations i'm wondering if people even know what the fuck we're talking about probably not <laughs> who cares i don't know <laughs> We'll try to come up with topics that are more relatable, I guess. Or just watch the fucking videos. All this stuff is in the videos anyway, so. Anyways, this is this this is like these are like recaps of the vlog. This is like the replay. Pretty just much, yeah. Vlog. That's all. We gotta We gotta we gotta vlog this Saturday. I know you ain't gonna be there, JF, but Yeah. We gotta do something. I can be be here in the morning. I'll be filming. I'll be shooting guns. Like what? I, I'm just real. Like what? What are you gonna go fucking do at Excision? Because what? Turn pressure you into He's going? gonna go take fucking boomerangs of motorboat and electrical tape titties. He dog. ain't gonna motorboat a goddamn. Bro, do you know what? I might not boat him. I might try, but I'm getting the picks. If you don't, I don't know. We'll come up with a punishment. If you don't, you guys. Speaking of punishments. Dave still hasn't gotten shot with pepper spray. Oh. Ooh. JF just say that because he's super glad he wasn't the one that got voted for that. <laughs> well, I knew I wasn't going to be the one. Damn. And I knew Talon wasn't going to be the one. I, I know I wasn't going to be the one. Let's all be real. Did any of us really think I anyone, knew it was going to be did Dave. Did anyone think anyone but Dave was going to get picked for that? No, that's why we all agreed to it. Yeah, we were all like, yeah, sure. We all agreed to it, and then we There's called Dave and said, hey, Dave, a contest, <laughs> and we're just doing it, so be I'm ready. putting this oh. in the video. <laughs> oh. That's, uh, dude. I would feel so bad fucking pepper spraying someone because I mean, you and I, JF, know how fucking bad that we've, is. We've experienced it. Well, I would have no remorse. I'd pull that fucking trigger so fast. <laughs> there you go, Rhodes. Rhodes, Rhodes is our you man. can do it then. It's not that I don't like Dave. It's just like I don't give like. Sorry, dude, you lost. Yeah. I feel like I would have to pay him for that because that's that's bad, dude. That's real bad. I'd pay him in in my friendship. I'd give him ten friendship points. And that's I'd that's a lot. Blast that. Yeah, I'd just fucking blast him with that. I don't know. Jesus. What else did I text you about this week? I didn't I text you too? I text you the the pajama pant people. Mm-hmm. And you text me about the parallel parking. Let me let me check oh, the list. And about all these places where we went. So me and Jeff went down to this newly gentrified area and they put in all these new bars and all this shit. And there's nowhere to nowhere park. Nowhere to park. Everywhere you go like this. Oh, what's the last thing we think about? All these fucking people parking. I was down there what, a few months ago? They towed my fucking car from a community <laughs> parking lot because they hung some fucking sign saying if your car is here after midnight, we're towing your shit. Yeah, then I drove around your ass all morning the next morning until like fucking two PM to get your goddamn car back. Should have should have vlogged that. Should have vlogged that because we were that dude, that was like I know they you were frustrated, seem, but then I was they even made getting it frustrated. Seem like, they made it seem like I had no right to get my own car back. Like oh, fucking well, yeah, scam they, artists. Yeah, two hundred twelve dollars. They I had to drive to four different fucking places. Yeah, you before know the person texts me back three hours later to tell me the address of where my car was sitting at. Do you know who towed? Like what towing? No, like- no idea. I think I I got to the point where I was so mad, and you know how mad I get, and like I like at the point, it's like who do I write the fucking check to? 
I'm got like I don't even care any at this point anymore. Just let me get my shit and go home. Like I hate I I hate not having my car. I hate not having my shit. I'm knocking like, on wood that my car has never been towed, and I fucking hope that, that was it the never gets towed. First and only time my car has ever been towed. Well, dude, it sucks because you're like you lose your you have no control then when you don't have your car you have no control. You like, lose control. I just like I can't go. go like I can't like I need it I need it right now. Like, dude, just. Ugh. I always think about like when I travel, I've been flying a lot of different places lately. If I ever lost my wallet, like when I'm out in Vegas or anywhere that I go, how fucked are you? You're in another state, no money, no ID. You can't fly Dude, home. I, I don't get people like that lose their shit. I've never lost my wallet. I've never lost my keys. I've never lost my phone ever. You better not ever, on ever, too. ever, ever, ever. I, mean, I ain't knocking on shit. Never, because guess what? I'm a responsible person. Because you're I check. an adult. I do, I do my three. I do my three pocket check before I leave anywhere. I do my keys, phone in my front pockets, wallet in my back. Check, check, check. We're good to go. If they ain't there, I know they're lost somewhere where I am. Because before I came to that place, I did my three pocket check. True. So never. I got I my wallet stolen before I flew to Florida two December's ago. How do we never hear this? I story? remember Let's that. Hear I've heard this. One. I stole it. So I was standing in the line to check in at the Philly airport. A pickpocket. Yeah. A pickpocket got you. I didn't know those people really existed. Dude, I didn't either. So I'm standing in line in the check-in line, and I'm like five people back from being the next one up. And Taylor goes, hey, do you have your – do you have the tickets and stuff ready? So I pull out of my pockets. Um, I pull my, my wallet out of my pocket just to make sure I have my ID on me, and I had it. And then I pulled out of my carry-on bag our tickets and stuff or whatever I needed to check in. And I'm like, yep, I have everything. So I put my wallet back in. I had a – it's kind of like that Nike zip-up I have that has like the side pockets on it. I put my wallet in there. So lines going. This big, this big guy bumps into me, and I'm like – he goes, oh, sorry about that, whatever. And I didn't – obviously didn't think anything of it. And I'm like the second guy. I'm about to go check in. So I'm getting my wallet back out and getting the check-in stuff out. So I have it ready to give it to him. And I go to pull my wallet out. And I'm like, where the fuck is my wallet? So I was like, you literally just had it in your hand. I'm like, yeah, I put it in my pocket. Like, where's my wallet? Like, so I start freaking out. And I'm like asking the people behind me. I'm like, did you see me drop my wallet? They're like, no. So I was like, so you didn't see a wallet on the ground? They're like, no. So I'm asking the people in front of me, did you see a wallet anywhere? So she's like, no. So I pull Taylor out of the line. I'm like, I don't know what to do. So I go up to, there's like a security stand there. And I go talk to the woman. I'm like, hi, did anybody turn in a wallet to you? Like in the last literally five minutes. And she's like, no. She's like, but you can go up there, up to like up the escalator to where you go through security again to see if anybody turned it in up there when they got, you know, to go through the security. I'm like, okay. So I walk up, go to that stand. And she's like, I'm asking the woman. She goes, no. But as I'm asking the woman, Another TSA person comes like – I can see her coming out of, the, out of the corner of my eye. She walks over and she goes, are you Jared? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Jared. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. <laughs> she goes, are you Jared? I said, Jared. yeah. And she, Somebody just handed this to me and said that they found it on the floor and I saw you standing over here and, and I could tell by your driver's license that it looked like you. I'm like, yeah, that's my wallet. Thanks. So I took it and I didn't like – think of anything right away and i go back downstairs to go to taylor and then i realize i'm like holy shit i had 300 dollars cash in my wallet that was gone so i start looking through it all my credit cards are gone shit. i'm like i'm like what the fuck 300 cash so that's the fucking so pain room right there i <laughs> so <laughs> at the of honey of course hole. at this point at this point like she gave me my wallet back and, and i was just just like happy to have my wallet because i'm like okay i have my id now Get on the plane. That's what I was worried about. Yeah. And I was worried because not that, like, okay, I can dismiss my flight and go home and get a new driver's license. I was flying to Florida for my brother's wedding that I was in. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, if I can't get to Florida, what the fuck am I going to do? I was to the point where I was ready to go to the rental car and just rent a fucking car. Right. Or have Taylor rent the car and we're driving, bitch. Damn. <laughs> hey, I'm sure having an enjoyable drive with her for fucking 13 hours. Yeah. <laughs> so when I realize all that, I'm I go back up there. I try to find the girl that gave it to me. She's nowhere to be found. 
So I was going to ask her who gave it to you so she could point it out because obviously whoever the person was that gave it to him probably was the person that took everything out of it. No, dude might have taken shit out and thrown it on the floor. He could have, right? I thought about that. But yeah, so I got all the money stolen, got my credit card stolen. While I was going through security, I had to cancel all my credit card. I was going to be in Florida for three days before my dad got to Florida. So I literally had no no money. Like, no access to anything. So you were just like a typical Floridian. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, chill. (laughs) That's me now, dogs. So I I call my dad and he goes, well, do you want me to wire you some money so you have money for the next three days? Or can Taylor spot you? I'm like, let me ask her. I'm like, can you just pay for me for the next three days? She's like, yeah, I'll pay for you. I'm like, hell yeah, we're partying. So Damn, Don't sound so nice. fucking melancholy about it, dog. <laughs> yeah. Like, you have no choice. You're paying for shit. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, either you're paying or you can give me the money back the plane ticket that I bought for you. Oh. <laughs> so it's, it's one or the other. Damn, JF got shit stolen from That's fucked up, dog. Yeah, dog. And that's always a pain in the ass because then you have to call your credit card companies, the bank, got to get a new card. It's just a pain in the ass. Moral of the story, carry your wallet in your front pocket. Yeah. I've never gotten anything stolen off my person. I'm going to steal some shit off you next time I'm around you. I stolen out of my Jeep when I was like 18 or 19. After Blue March at the cliffs. Yeah. I remember (laughs) that out of the green monster. Yeah. I think I was there that day. Was Greg there? Because he got yeah. changed, stolen out of his Jeep, yeah, too. Yeah, me, you, Greg, Talon. I think Brad was there. The clip. We're not going to mention who took it, but they took... Uh... Brandon, the mids dealer, took it? Yeah, took uh, took Brad's like protein shake container. The shaker. That's all it was, was that, and then all the fucking change on so it. You so know, you know who did it? No, I don't know who did it, but I know who did it, but I don't know. You know who Can did it, but we'll we'll talk, talk, we'll talk about it after the the yeah, episode. Yeah, we'll talk about this off off the air. So off I, the air. Again, don't sound like a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, now I want to be. We, we'll sorry, guys, we have to end the podcast because now I really want to know. No, we'll tell you after. <laughs> I mean, we can we can end it soon anyway. We're at we're at like fifty seven minutes already. Already? I feel like we didn't talk about anything entertaining this. Well, that's why we're doing this weekly. We got a lot of shit to talk about, so. True, true. We can keep this thing rocking in the Discord. Uh, If you guys don't know what the Discord is, if you support Stuff and Things and the podcast on patreon.com forward slash townsci, that's why we started this podcast. You get access to the Discord where we record these podcasts. So sorry, by the way, if the audio is kind of cutting in and out throughout this. We're still kind of working on it, but check us out there. Um, to recap a little bit, drop some knowledge one last time. Don't wear fucking PJs in public. Do not. Don't wear them. If you're going to manscape or if you are a professional beautician, let us know how to properly shave your balls because that would be really useful. (laughs) Sure. A lot of listeners could, uh, benefit from that. And if you have a fucking reverse camera on your car Learn how to fucking park. Don't stop in the merge lane if there's a merge lane to merge. And keep your wallet in your front pocket because that's the best way to do it. Um, Along the same lines of that Patreon, my Venmo is... (laughs) (laughs) And censor that. (laughs) At Alex Dash Rhodes. Venmo's open. We plugged that in the bachelor party video and people sent you money. Yeah, and I got... People sent me 69 cents. (laughs) (laughs) That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, all right. If they want to know where to find you other than Venmo, where can they find you, Rhodes? Uh, at AM Rhodes27 on Instagram and at A Rhodes27 at, or on, on Twitter. I feel like I'm a solid Twitter follow. So, you know. How about you, JF? You can just find me on the Instagram at JF with three Fs J A Y E F F F. I only like Instagram. Yeah, I'm, I'm the favorite. same way. I use them all, but more importantly, follow us on Instagram at Dropping Knowledge Pod. Just how it sounds. That's how it's spelled. Also on Twitter at Official DK Pod. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're gonna try to keep posting new episodes every Friday around 9 a.m. So hopefully, if you're a new listener here, you made it all the way through this episode. If you did, drop a like on it. That'd be cool as well. And 
Follow share me it. and all the yeah, fucking share it with your friends. Like I said, if this shit doesn't keep growing, we'll just stop doing this. We'll just stop recording. <laughs> we'll Look, just... all I gotta say is that if you're not sharing the pod, you're being selfish. If okay? you ain't sharing, you ain't caring. So, right. You're, you're you're holding everything in for yourself. So stop being selfish and, and get it out to, to your people. True, true. Well we're entertaining folks. Well uh I don't know what I feel like we didn't. We talked for an hour today. That doesn't feel. Yeah, nearly we're, as we're long over as... an hour now. Wow. We didn't. We didn't even have a drink break. I'm just finishing only one drink right now. I'm sorry. Yeah, we'll, we'll do better next break. time. That's really disappointing. We didn't have a, 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 a pee break. I feel. We'll try oh, to wow. segment this better. I'll, I'll try to incorporate a drink break in there at half an hour. But All we're right. learning. We're learning. This is only episode two. We need some set like like inner during podcast segments that happen well we'll figure that out we need to think about that if you guys have any topic suggestions hit us up on the discord if you're a patron or tweet at us dm us on instagram that's gonna be all for this week don't forget about that motorboat boomerang yeah we're we're gonna be checking on your instagram jeff if you don't post that shit you're fucking dead to us you're dead to the pod fam I'm about to have a talk with Taylor and say, look, I, I'm on a, I got a mission. I was given a mission. And <laughs> I made critical. I complete the mission. So I'm, I'm going at it full bore. And she don't mm-hmm. count either. She's probably putting electrical tape over her titties too. Let's be honest. Yeah, she, she, I will. <laughs> <laughs> so no pun intended on that. I'm going to, I'll get it done. We're getting it done. All right. You can put them on your Instagram. Don't I'll, I'll fucking screenshot it and put it on the on the podcast Instagram. All right, guys, oh, thanks yeah. for listening, and we'll talk to you next week. Peace. Good night.